I'm Matt Bichard with REIT.com here in Boca Raton, Florida for REITWISE 2014. Joining me is Lisa Sarajan, Managing Director with Standard & Poor's Rating Agency. Lisa, thanks so much for joining us. My pleasure. Now, I'd like to start by talking about rebonds and preferred stock. How are they holding up in terms of credit quality right now? Pretty well. Actually, our um, outlook for the sector is stable with a positive bias, and that means we think more ratings will go up than down this year. That's consistent with what we experienced last year. And the support to that is basically strengthening fundamentals across most asset classes, maybe office being the laggard and pockets of multifamily and retail a little bit vulnerable. Um, but fundamentals strengthened, access to capital continues to be robust. We think um, you know issuance debt and preferred stock issuance this year is up about 10%. Um, the bulk of that's financing growth this year versus just straight debt refinancing. But the result of that is healthy balance sheets, good debt maturity schedules, um, so pretty well positioned from a credit perspective. Maybe the wild cards uh, would be M&A activity. We've certainly seen that percolate. Um, uh, spin activity. Uh, and then finally, maybe some strategic stumbles for management teams that are reaching for growth. And what about the CMBS market? What changes are you seeing there in terms of underwriting? CMBS market is back, um, no doubt about that. Um, while it's a less important funding source for the REITs that we rate, it's definitely an important lubricant to the broader commercial real estate market. So the fact that it's back is healthy because REITs continue to want to sell uh, into, into the market. Um, our colleagues on the CMBS side are a little bit concerned about eroding um, underwriting standards. The competitive, the lending environment is extremely competitive. Um, they're kind of uh, noting creeping LTVs across asset classes and uh, eroding support in the form of, for example, bad boy carve outs. Borrowers are trying to uh, yank those back. So those are negative trends uh, and uh, trends that we'll continue to watch. And lastly, from a rating agency's perspective, how do you view the evolution of the REIT industry into some, some different property types? Um, there's definitely been a gradual expansion of how the industry defines real estate. This can be a challenge for us from a ratings perspective because um, we're tasked with trying to uh, uh, determine uh, to what extent the business being conducted within a REIT is a real estate business or an operating business. So to the extent we conclude that the activity is really more of an operating platform and an operating business, we're not going to really evaluate it as a REIT. Um, and our colleagues in our uh, corporate industrial group are going to continue to follow them as operating companies. Lisa, thank you so much for joining us. My pleasure. For more from REITWISE 2014, be sure to visit REIT.com.